Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you want. on creating your diet to build endurance rather it's uh, it's one of the more precarious things because the way you have to go about it it's uh, it's it's very it's very difficult because when you work out you're pushing yourself and you, you require more energy to to actually perform the workout um, you, you just leave it on eat you know, so. Well, with that being said, with protein, there's so many different kinds. Mm -hmm. They're like a recommended, you know, somehow more sugar or not sugar, but more. Yeah, more fish. unhealthy. Yeah. Unhealthy things. Right. Somehow, some are high in fat, some are right. low in so fat. For women that are trying to lose, also <clears throat> gain endurance, is there a recommended dosage or that, or like how much you can intake? Okay, yes. So, if you're trying to. Uh, lose weight, you know, and one of your other goals is to gain endurance or mm -hmm. um, any of your, you know, whatever your goal is, whether you want to uh, to tone, whether you want to you know, build your strength specifically, or whether you have kind of like a compound goal where you want to build your endurance. Um, what you want to do is, of course, you want to focus on healthier, uh, healthier proteins, healthier sources of proteins, and also proteins with better uh, what's called bioavailability, meaning that it's readily available and easily digestible. So, traditionally speaking, plants have the healthiest sources of protein. However, plant protein isn't what's called a complete protein most of the time. There are some plant proteins that are complete proteins, meaning that it's a complete protein molecule and your body can turn it into muscle mass. Um, so that's something that you wanna keep in mind. Now, if if you're like most people, um, or you're like myself, and you do eat meat, um, and you're trying to consider a healthier protein uh, choice, you want to lean towards fish or wild game. So with wild game being like venison, deer, uh, uh, elk, um, and fish, uh, it's kind of funny to think about, but the way I think about it is you want to eat an animal that hustles, right? So if there's an animal, like salmon, you think about salmon, it literally is swimming upriver all day, it's dodging bears, grizzly bears, trying not to get eaten. It's an animal that hustles to live. So it's gonna have better bioavailability of protein and it's gonna be a cleaner protein. It's gonna have healthier protein because it's a healthy animal. If it wasn't healthy, it wouldn't be able to survive in the wild. You know, um, like shark, it's expensive, it's pricey, but if you can afford it or you have access to it, um, you know, there are some people who who um, who see that as kind of kind of like ooh shark that's like real fishy. You know, they're they're kind of turned off from it. But if you can get around that and you can you know you can eat it, it's I highly recommend it. It's very clean, very healthy protein. Um, you know, uh, some of the uh, the poultry like chicken, turkey. Uh, if you're eating that. You want to go for the white meat, the chicken breast, um, you know, or the turkey breast, and you always want to go for baked or grilled over fried. You, you really don't want to go for that fried food because it's going to be saturated with fats. Um, if you're eating uh, red meat, I don't rec recommend red meat as an immediate protein choice, just because it normally is high in fat, and the protein, uh, the red meat that. So uh, I don't recommend going with red meat just because it's normally processed. Mm -hmm. um, usually whatever we get is usually processed what you buy in the store. And it's typically high in fat. Um, you can actually see the fat in red meat. If you go into mm -hmm. to the store, you go to the yeah. meat section, and you see the white strips. Mm -hmm. All that white is, is fat usually. Right. Um, of course you can buy red meat that's lower in fat. And, um, it's like lean red meat or whatever. 
Um, but I just I just don't recommend it. It's it's easier to go for the fish. If you can't go for the fish, it's easier to go for the white meat poultry. If you can't go for the white meat poultry, then you go for the red meat. Um, if you are going for the red meat, you know, do look for those lean options. Sometimes it will even be labeled green or lean or whatever. Um, but yeah, so so if you're trying to lose weight, of course you want to reduce the amount of fats you're taking in. You want to reduce the amounts of carb, the amount of carbs you're taking in. But even more than that, you want to reduce the amount of calories you're eating. Your calories are the biggest factor in how much fat you're going to store on your body. <clears throat> and this so when you eat calories, your calories are your primary source of energy. It's what your body uses to to get around. It's mm -hmm. um it, it's it's the gas in your body. And so if you're working out, um, you're going to need more calories, right? right? But if you eat more calories, you're also going to be prone to take on body fat. So how do you eat more calories to work out while at the same time tr uh, lose body fat? This is especially difficult if you're trying to build your endurance. Because when you're building your endurance, you're generally going to do exercises that have a heavy tax on your body. And to compensate for that, you need the more calories. Mm -hmm. So that's why you want to try and keep your body on E. You know, eat just enough to get you through the day. Eat just enough to get you to that workout. And then before the workout, load up on, ca on calories. You know, take in a little more than you normally would. That way you have enough energy to get through the workout. Mm -hmm. And then after the workout, of course, you want to do your yourself you do do due diligence I put you that you want to after your workout you want to do your, your due diligence and you want to take in those lean healthy proteins mm -hmm. to build the strength in the muscle to have the endurance and by having that caloric deficit mm -hmm. by being having a diminished uh, calorie count in your diet you're gonna lose that weight at the okay. same time it's a lot. To, it's a lot to consider, and it's a. It's a lot you have to. You have to. Yeah, be conscious of, and you have to keep in your mind. And it becomes easier with time. And all of our bodies are different, right? So what works for you may not work for me. What works for me may not work for you. But there are certain rules that are universal. And so once you can discover and learn those rules, and you retain them, and you pair that with what you know about yourself. Then you can you can start to uh, be more intuitive on how you do things, and you kind of teach yourself. You know, a good teacher doesn't really teach you; they they guide you, and that's kind of what what we're here to do at Health Hacks and Tips is to guide you with those universal rules, so that you can kind of intuitively, you know, go on your own fitness journey and reach the goals you want.